A lot of patients, when they first enter a clinical trial, really have the fear of placebo. Um, they really don't want to put in the effort for them to solely be receiving a placebo drug and for them to get worse in the trial. It's very disheartening to put your efforts into completing diaries every night, um, sometimes different questionnaires, traveling every two weeks to see a coordinator and have your blood drawn and receive drug. If you're on the placebo track, on for many trials, if you're deemed a non-responder per um, the protocol and there's specific, specific criteria that you meet, um, your CDI doesn't lower a certain amount, um, certain lab levels are still high that are indicative of you having active disease and not getting better, you move into what's called um, an open label extension, meaning is you go directly into a portion where you will receive drug. So that's why a lot of patients are able to come into a trial and say, all right, I might get placebo, but what that really means is I might be miserable for another 12 weeks, but after those 12 weeks, I'm definitely gonna get drug. And if that's their only option, many patients are like, I'll do it. Patient safety and patient quality of life is just the goal. Never would they really wanna put somebody in a trial where they're receiving placebo and they're worsening and they're still receiving placebo or little to no help. They'll withdraw the patient first. Um, sometimes you can dose escalate. If none of, thing, none of those things work, if basically everything has been exhausted in the trial, the patient will be pulled and they'll be given either a standard care treatment or another trial will be found for them that could give them some benefit. Because at the end of the day, you want your patient to benefit.